We have the same briefcase. Open it. Soap. The yardstick of civilization. I make and sell soap. If you were to add nitric acid to the soap making process, one would get nitroglycerin. With enough soap, one could blow up the world if one were so inclined. Tyler, you are by far the most interesting single serving person I've ever met. You see, when we travel, everything is small, self-contained, um, things, objects. Um, I get it. You're very clever. Thank you. How's that working out for you? What? Being clever. Well, great. Keep it up then. Keep it right up. You're defined by the choices we make. Uh, the song that was playing when my wife was in the shower with the, uh, the history teacher. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that was my wedding song. Uh, so I go kind of crazy when I hear it. Sometimes I hear it when it's not even playing. Wow. So I, I get it. Yeah. So I, I, I know. Yeah. I just got to get a strategy, you know? Me too. We should get back to the letter. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get to the letter. What if you tell Nikki when Veronica was in the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna finish writing the letter right now. Can I at least finish my tea first? Wait, what? My tea. Can I finish it? Wait a minute. Did Veronica tell Nikki about our dinner? Why would she do that? Was it a test? Kinda got that feeling, yeah. God damn it, I knew it. It was a test. How did I do? I think I did pretty well. Yeah, she said you were, you know, pretty cool, basically. Basically? Was I some percentage not cool? No, she said you were cool, but you know. No, I don't know. Just sort of how you are. It's fine. Relax. What do you mean, how I am? What does that mean? Sort of like me? Sort of like you? I hope to God she didn't tell Nikki that. Why? <sighs> because it's just not right lumping you and I together. I mean, it's just wrong. And Nikki wouldn't like that, especially after all the shit that you just told me. Anyone ever said no to a drink with you, Pete? Sure. The trick is just to keep asking. For Boston. For Boston. So you here for the Cardinal? No, no, I don't presume to speak for the Cardinal. A lot of people here respect you, Robbie. Respect your work. Good to know. It's because you care about this place. It's why you do what you do. It's who you are. But people need the church more than ever right now. You can feel it. Just because the Cardinal's not perfect doesn't mean you can throw out all the good he's done over a few bad apples. I'm bringing this up with you because I know this was Marty's idea. His agenda. And I gotta tell you, honest to God, I don't think he cares about this city the same way that we do. How could he? No, Artie. You and I both agreed that it was the true test of a superior intellect. Ah, oh, superior intellect. What do you think about that, puss puss? You and I, we work out this beautiful, perfect crime. And then, and then the superior intellect goes and sees how many ways you can screw it up. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. You were. I'll, I'll go in and claim them tomorrow. I'll just say that I read about it in the newspaper. Mm-hmm. Do you go to the park a lot? Yeah, sure. I don't have to know when I lost them. Oh, you'd butch it up. As I say, Sergeant, I was at the park the other day with my students going bird watching, and it's just Bird watching, Steiner? With your students? What are you, some kind of nut or something? I happen to be an ornithologist, Sergeant, with special permission from the Department of Parks to take my classes on field trips. Oh, I see. And that's when you figured you lost your glasses, huh? It's possible. 
oh, so, so that wouldn't happen have been Wednesday afternoon around 6, would it? Oh, no, sir. I remember it particularly because a friend of mine and I were out on Lakeshore Drive and we ran into these two girls. Uh, I think their names were May and Edna. Betty and Edna, you fucking idiot. See, the hardest thing for me was leaving the life. And I still love the life. We were treated like movie stars with muscle. We had it all just for the asking. Our wives, mothers, kids, everybody rode along. I had paper bags filled with jewelry stashed in the kitchen. I had a sugar bowl full of Coke next to the bed. Anything I wanted was a phone call away. Free cars, the keys to a dozen hideout flats all over the city. I'd bet 20 or 30 grand over a weekend and then either blow the winnings in a week or go to the Sharks to pay back the bookies. It didn't matter. It didn't mean anything. When I was broke, I'd just go out and rob some more. And uh, we ran everything. We paid off cops, we paid off lawyers, we paid off judges. Everybody had their hand out. Everything was for the taking. And now it's all over. And that's the hardest part. Today everything is different. There's no action. I have to wait around like everybody else. I can't even get decent food. Right after I got here, I ordered some spaghetti with marinara sauce, and they gave me egg noodles and ketchup. I'm an average nobody. I get to live the rest of my life like a schnook.